Hello everybody, welcome back to Sunday Berries. Today we're going to be mixing Daniel Smith Desert to Mountain Set. I will be using a Princeton Round Aqua Elite number eight. And I've gone ahead and I advanced this so the video isn't that long and um, hopefully it will come out good not sure about that yet but um, we're going to be mixing I am going to leave out the um, spaces where these colors will repeat themselves and I'm going to do a special mix for that those spots so we're going to start with buff titanium and we are going to mix it with raw sienna light. So what I want to do is have the buff titanium shine through instead of the raw sienna. When we get to the raw sienna, we're going to switch back. It's a little bit warmer, but I'm not sure if I did a good job on that one. <laughs> so this should come out to be a little bit warmer. Beautiful granulation already. Now we are going to go to the Burnside Genuine with the Buff Titanium. And again, I want the Buff Titanium to be the star instead of the Burnside. And I already did it too dark. <laughs> Here we go. This one looks like a clay. All right, here we go. going to go here and now I do want the bronze side to be the star of the show so we're going to try and get a different tonal value I suppose I think this one looks good Let's hope for the best. The granulation is really beautiful. We will be moving on to Venetian Red and Buff Titanium. I'm trying to mix it really, really well. And let's see what we have here. Thank you. 
And now we're going to do the reverse. Venetian red will be the star and the buff titanium will be the supporting character. <laughs> okay, let's see. Very nice clay color. Okay, and we're moving on to the burnt sienna light. Very nice. love that one so far but since this is going to dry about two shades lighter we can't say for sure yet so now it's going to be the other way around let's take a look Now we're going to work with the lunar black. So that's going to come here. Oops. That's harsh. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, exciting for me. I don't know about you guys, but this is very exciting for me. I did find out that I don't like the pans, not for mixing. And I think it has to do with the fact that I paint a large scale. And if you're trying to make a lot of a color, a mix a lot of um, a single color, this way, it's very slow, completely slow. <laughs> I love that um, gray. And as I mentioned, I wanted to reserve this one for a special mix. And what I'm going to do is mix them all together. Because they all have um, the buff titanium as a common pigment, it's going to be or should be a good mix. I mean, it's not, 
it shouldn't create mud. Maybe it could create it, but um, we will not know until we get there. But usually it shouldn't do it. Oh, but we are working with black, so I'm not sure. So let's see what color this gives us. And so far it's looking quite good. So I will make it a circle just to make sure we understand what this is. <laughs> My circles are horrible, so that's why I never do them. But um, we're going to try and get a nice circle going. Because this would mean that we have all these colors in one. And we will not forget that. That's our first six color mix. <laughs> okay, so we're back and now we're going to start with the raw umber light. And we're going to leave this one empty for our special mix. And I wanted to mention, if you create this color, for example, then you can also add this color to any of these colors and it will be harmonious. It's just part of that because it contains all of these colors. So that's good. <laughs> this one will stay blank, so we will need to do raw sienna and bronzite genuine. I think I dilute colors just by washing and cleaning my brush. That's terrible. <sighs> and I think there's not enough there. This is what I mean about um, having the tubes instead of the pans for me. That's just a preference for me. Okay, this one looks good. We're here. pigment there. The bronze I genuine. The big player here. And I think I like this color. And this way we can see different versions of, instead of having basically the same colors. And we are going to move on with the Venetian red. I think I would find it a lot more interesting if I could make if I could um, mix this 
in a different way than this. For example, here I used a lot of water, so that's very washed out. Hopefully we can get this one to work. Oh my god, I'm totally confused by this um, thing already. So we're moving on to Benzina Light and Rosina Light. Here we go. very lovely. These two colors are going to be quite similar because of that PR 101. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that on my last video I said that the Rossiana light was non-granulating and that's how the dot card describes it but the website as I was looking at it because I thought it's strange this looks granulating to me and I thought it was the paper but no it's actually granulating a granulating pigment and um, so the dot card has a mistake and it says that it's non-granulating and newbie me did not double check with the website these are very nice oranges Okay, let's try this one. Usually, this will turn greenish, but I don't know how it will behave with these pigments. It is greenish, it's like a baby fruit green. <laughs> I don't know how that one is going to dry. Hmm, not sure what to think of these yet. 
but now we are going to mix all our colors and see what we get. And we should be left for that circle. I think. All right. Now we are going to go with the bronze side genuine, which is going to be here. So we are going to move to the Venetian red. So again, our first mix. It's going to be more bronze side genuine than anything else. it up as best as possible. like that one <laughs> and now we are going to go in reverse and I think we have it Very nice brick color. Now we are going to move on to Bronzite Genuine and Burnt Sienna Light. I think that Bronzite is getting lost here because it is transparent. So here we go. Let's see. And let's hope for the best. Looks nice, very, very nice. And now the reverse. one color or two colors less but at the very least we have a few colors here we go 
Lunar Black and Brassite Genuine. And now we have only a three mix and I am missing other colors. So what we're going to do is mix these and the ones we are missing are the buff titanium. We are missing Rosina Light and Venetian Red, I think. I don't know, but we're going to put it there anyway, <laughs> just in case. So here we go. And we're going to add all of these together. And let's see what we get. Can we get a better and interesting color? Maybe. <laughs> let's see. I will add side genuine to all this mix here we go Ooh. <laughs> okay so we're going to do a little line here and then oh, it's going to have to be this way I am sorry guys I forgot it was a circle do so we have to remember that this one here is the mix the full-on mix now we are going to move on to the Venetian red with Venetian red so Venetian red with burnt sienna light okay Venetian red and burnt sienna light. Here we go. Okay, and now we're going to lighten that one up with more burnt sienna light. So we're going to keep adding burnt sienna light. And it should give us more than the Venetian red. Yeah. But still a very nice color. I don't see much difference. Am I doing this right? I'm confused now. I think it goes here. Yes. And now we're going to do burnt sienna light and lunar black. And here we have it. Oh God, yes, I'm, oh God. So I have this all mixed up. I can't do it this way. My God. I'm 
So what we'll do, it's make a little mark that this one was supposed to be here. <laughs> and what I needed was Venetian red. That's the one I was working with. Oh. Now I'm really confused. This one is right though. And this one is right. The only one I mixed up is this one here. Because this one is this one. So over here, I need to have the, yeah, and here. So let's do that. Venetian red and black. Okay. So that's the one that should have been over there. Now I'm going to do a darker version of that one. do this type of setup so confused newbie mistake yep so the only ones that I can use here is these two and then we can probably add to this of titanium we already have the venetian red we have the black and then it would be just a matter of a little bit more of this one and get all this going together let's put in a little bit more of the red so we can have a little variation here and this one needs to be a circle. Don't forget that. Here we go. The circle that never was. <laughs> well, things like this happen. It's life. Nobody's perfect. I'm certainly not perfect. And attempting, attempting to do something I've never done before, which is this type of chart. And circles that kill me. And circles that become squares. <laughs> so hopefully... Burnt Sienna Light and Black, Lunar Black. And in this case, the Lunar Black needs to be the bigger color because we already have it here. Now I need to add to this more black, more yellow, <laughs> brown side, Venetian, and um, burnt 
financiera. So we have a muddy color, but I find it beautiful, to be quite honest. So it's like a brown. Chocolate brown. It's not that bad, actually. As a matter of fact, I think that... Not mud at all. The only one that we're missing is right here. So, basically... We are going to do it right now, real quick. And to this one, I will I will add just a tiny bit of black and more brown sienna. And since burnt sienna is uh, um, semi-transparent or transparent, I can't remember. I think it's transparent. I added a little bit more for good measure. So here we go. Whoops, that's a lot of water. A ton of water. Okay, so this has been a big old mess, but I think we got it. The only mistake was here, and this one is supposed to be here, and this one here, so I'll just make a little notation there. Um, I will allow it to dry and then come back to you with final thoughts, but this is the chart. I am sorry about that boo-boo and this boo-boo. So, yeah, I'll be right back. While this dries, I'm going to set it aside and I am going to show you one trick. So we have this muddy colors right here, which is where we mixed all of the colors together. And what I am going to show you is something that I do when you create mud. Um, you will probably, you can use that mud uh, because it's a combination of all the colors. So what you do is, for example, if you want to create some harmony, let's say you have your buff titanium and you add just a tiny bit of it to it. And you will get, and we'll, we'll check this with the others, but you will get something that will harmonize with your other colors. Okay, let's try with the raw sienna light actually I can bring this over doesn't matter because it's in there too
and I am just experimenting and trying to bring a little bit of what I do in acrylics here. Not sure, but it makes sense to me. This is the bronze side genuine now. And we mix it and we get Oh God, my circles are so bad. Now you know why I don't do circles. <laughs> you're getting the idea of this now with the Venetian red there's not gonna be too much of a change here This is the first time I'm trying it with watercolor, so I don't know. But it's looking good so far. Burnt Sienna White. And the last one would be the black. Doesn't matter if I put it there. We're going to leave that to dry and what with what we've done it's harmonize all the colors with the mud. <laughs> um, yeah. This is also Hannah Mueller paper. What we've got here and I will make the annotation that I made a big boo-boo right here. So we know, and we are also going to highlight this one here. 
which was supposed to be our circle or our mud pile. All right, so um, I find the combinations to be really, really nice. I do want to caution everybody about the Bronzeite Genuine. If you have it in the water, the sparkling is going to transfer to others, unfortunately. The, uh, actually I love the colors and at least we can get two different types of mixes with the same colors. One where the, for example, here the buff titanium is the star of the show and then the supporting character would be um, the raw sienna light. And then you get the same thing here, but in reverse where the raw sienna light is the main character and the buff titanium would be the secondary character. I know there is a chart on Daniel Smith website. I haven't looked at it. I don't know if my colors even look like those, but I would like to know. I will check afterwards. I like the green that uh, the raw sienna light and the black made. This is obviously different, but it's not bad. And we have it again here, but in reverse, and it's quite a subtle reversal because you don't see it as a green, but a different type of gray. And interesting enough, this gray, it's more of a, I would say a brown, it's perhaps like a, hmm, not sure how to describe this color. Um, this color right here, which is with the Venetian red, I personally did not like. Um, and we did it with here, where the Venetian red is a little bit more uh, stronger and you hardly see the black, so I didn't do a really good job on this one. I just didn't. With the lunar black and the burnt sienna light, it does create a really interesting clay texture. And also our mud little pile right here, which is all these colors together, um, well, all the colors together. Uh, it created also another dirt uh, clay rock formation type of um, color mud, obviously. <laughs> but it's a nice mud. It's not a bad one. It's a really nice looking brown. This one here with the lunar black, it's really nice because it's more of the Bronzeite Genuine than anything else, but it took on a different tone and that was very nice. Like here, it became a lot warmer. Here, it seems to be a lot cooler. Here's warmer. And this one could be quite neutral. I do love the combination of the buff titanium and the bronzeite genuine here, where the buff titanium is predominant. And if we look at the buff titanium and where is it? Oh my God. Buff titanium here. No, wait, where is it now? Oh, here here i'm sorry um with the buff where the bronzeite genuine with the buff titanium the bronzeite genuine is predominant 
I like it a lot. <laughs> but these two colors are really nice. Um, and they take different um, values as well. This one is also very beautiful. I did not like this one. I probably just did it wrong. Maybe it was too washed down. But if we go to the buff titanium with uh, also the Venetian red, um, it's like a clay color. I think it could be a, a we could do a better mix. It, it's just very washed out. But of course, it's only one go at it, so I can't really. But the combination of the burnt sienna and the buff titanium is also really nice, as well as it is with the raw sienna light. And yeah, and even with the bronze genuine and with the Venetian uh, red, very nice as well and with the black it becomes almost the same as mud um, this color for some reason it looks to me I don't know why the Venetian red it's given me these type of results where it's more pinkish maybe it's because of that um, opaqueness that it has instead of a transparency now this one is just my eye goes to this one so much and this gray is really nice so it's interesting how it goes down the line and it starts becoming um obviously this is mud but uh, it starts becoming brown um i think this one could have been better done in terms of making it more like brick. It, it, could have, it could have been better. I mm, didn't do a good job here. But you get the idea of how to mix these colors. The buff titanium with the black, it's quite nice as well. A very muted, uh, cement like color so is here and obviously this is like a neutral um but yeah all together they have rhythm they have rhythm and then if we look at my little test with the mud trying it out with um all the other colors if we look at them they also uh, make harmony with any of them actually not too far away from this one I think yeah quite close to this row right here um, actually it's sort of like this row right here maybe uh, the the um, Maybe the burnt sienna light and the <laughs> the bronze side genuine genuine were quite dominant, but um, I think it's this because I can see it here. So yes, you can if you ever create any mud, just try to mix a little bit with the other colors and it will make harmony and you don't have to waste your pigments. Um, like I said, I'm not crazy about this one at all. I'm not crazy about that or that. For me, that's uh, no. And I love how that one came out. Lots of different uh, 
ranges of oranges. Remember this is switched, so this one should be here. And I should have done a better job with this one, but I'll have time to continue practicing my mixes with um, watercolors. So um, this line here, what I did was just mix all the colors together. So that's why it's quite similar, but we managed to get this beautiful uh, chocolate brown right here. And this one, it's also quite nice as well as this one. Then here, there's not much of a difference and then a, a darker brown. So you can use those. And what I, I did that because I simply didn't want to repeat the colors that we already had swatched and have around the board. But doing it this way for me was difficult because I'm used to working, let's say I'm going to work with buff titanium and then I work all the colors with buff titanium until I get from, let's say for example, from the lightest all the way to the darkest. This was quite different. And as you can see, I got confused at one point and I was losing track of what I was doing. So I'll probably next time do it the way I do it. <laughs> but then I would have to have like a whole page just for one main color. And then from there, see what uh, we get. But any which way you do it, any which way you mix these colors, um, you will get beautiful beige uh, oranges uh browns in different degrees um or values it's quite nice i am a little bit disappointed that perhaps the granulation didn't come out as nice as i was hoping and it's probably my fault because i'm still learning uh i do see uh, little bits of granulation here and there but to have so many so many granulating colors for example buff titanium the rosina light the bronzite genuine the burnt sienna light and the um, lunar black I I see the granulation but it's not as strong as I would have liked to see the only color that I honestly did not like the mixes was the Venetian red. It might have to do with the um, opaqueness or maybe I just didn't do it right, but not sure. <laughs> um, so yeah, these are the colors and you learned something that maybe you knew or if you didn't, hopefully it will help you with some sort of um, situation in the future with your colors. Love this green. It's really interesting because it's the only green we can get here. <laughs> and again, a lot of clay. It reminds me of rocks, mountains, sand, shells, cement, sediment, uh, mud, dirt. Very nice. Uh, uh, it's, it's really a very good set. If you enjoy earthy colors, this is a great set. And let me just say, it's also perfect for the season. Fall is here and there is a lot of colors you can use as a fall uh, color to create something interesting and special, particularly with the um, uh, raw sienna light and the burnt sienna lights. You can get beautiful um, oranges and browns and fall colors. Yeah, so that's it. That's my mixing video. We even have an <laughs> the Amazon smile here because of the mistake that I made that took me for a loop and yeah I will try to redo this on my own 
without the pressure of the camera and see where it goes. And if I get something better than this, I will show you. But for now, this is the best I've got. <laughs> so it will have to do. So my friends, thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. To all the subscribers, thank you so much for your support. For everyone who is coming to watch the videos and you find yourself on the fence whether or not to um, subscribe to the channel, this is the best thing that I can tell you right about now. I am very new to watercolors, so probably that has you in doubt because you probably know more about watercolors than I do. But it's a fun experience. I will be making tons of mistakes and finding a lot of things on my own and having fun. That's what it's all about and obviously share the love I feel for watercolors even though this is a completely new media for me. So if you're on the fence perhaps this might change your mind and you might want to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you know when I release new videos. And for now I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed my mistakes. And with that said, please take care of yourselves, stay safe, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.